Have you ever wondered what the future holds for mining in space? Is it a distant dream or a reality that's closer than we think? In this era of rapid technological advancement, we often find ourselves at the crossroads of reality and fantasy. One such intersection is the concept of space mining. It's a topic that tickles the imagination, yet remains shrouded in mystery and misconception for most. To put it simply, space mining is the extraction of valuable minerals and other geological materials from asteroids, the moon or other celestial bodies. It's a concept that's been around for decades, yet it's not widely discussed or understood. Many perceive it as a far-off fantasy confined to the realms of science fiction and Hollywood blockbusters, but is it really? The potential of space mining is vast and, dare we say, out of this world. Imagine a future where we're not just exploring the cosmos, but also harnessing its resources. It's a prospect that could help alleviate some of our planet's most pressing environmental concerns, from the depletion of natural resources to the environmental damage caused by terrestrial mining. However, it's not all stargazing and daydreaming. Space mining comes with its own set of challenges and misconceptions. Some people think it's as easy as flying up to an asteroid, drilling a hole and bringing back a treasure trove of precious metals. In reality, it's a lot more complicated than that. The logistics, the technology, the cost and even the legality of space mining are all hurdles that need to be overcome. Then there's the question of ethics. Is it right for us to exploit resources beyond our planet? Are we setting ourselves up for a new era of space colonialism? These are questions that need to be addressed as we venture further into the cosmos. But before we delve deeper, let's debunk some myths and bring to light some unpopular facts about space mining. The road to the stars may be paved with gold, but it's also fraught with obstacles and misconceptions. Let's take a closer look, shall we? A space mining isn't a cheap venture. It's a high-stakes game that requires a significant financial investment. But what exactly does this investment entail? Let's delve into the nitty-gritty. Firstly, we have research costs. These are expenses incurred in the quest for knowledge. Space mining is an uncharted territory and before we can even think about mining asteroids, we need to understand them. This requires extensive research, which involves astronomers, astrophysicists, geologists and a plethora of other specialists. It also requires the use of advanced telescopes and other equipment, all of which come with hefty price tags. Once we have the knowledge, we move on to the development phase. This involves designing, building and testing the necessary equipment and technologies. We're talking about spacecraft capable of reaching asteroids, equipment durable enough to mine in space and robots to do the heavy lifting. The development phase also includes creating systems to process the mined materials in space or safely transport them back to Earth. As you can imagine, this isn't something you can do on a shoestring budget. And then we have the launch costs. Launching anything into space is expensive. We're not just talking about the, the cost of the rocket fuel. There's the cost of building the rocket, the cost of the launch pad, the cost of the ground crew, the cost of insurance, and so much more. And remember, we're not launching a single mission here. The nature of space mining means multiple launches, which multiplies the costs. All these costs stack up and create a high barrier to entry. This discourages many potential investors who see the astronomical costs and wonder if the return on investment will ever materialize. It's a gamble and not everyone is willing to roll the dice. In essence, space mining is an endeavor that demands deep pockets. It's a high risk, high reward venture that is not for the faint of heart or the light of wallet. So the question arises, is the potential payoff worth the astronomical cost? Space mining isn't just about technology and finances, it's also about navigating a maze of legal and ethical challenges. Delving into the realm of space law, we find ourselves in largely uncharted territory. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967, for example, states that space is the province of all mankind and that no nation can claim sovereignty over celestial bodies. So who owns the resources we might find on the moon or asteroids? At present, it's a legal gray area and one that could potentially lead to conflict. In 2015, the United States passed the Space Act, allowing American companies to own and sell resources they extract from celestial bodies. But without international consensus, this could provoke disputes. Imagine, if you will, a 22nd century Klondike with nations and corporations racing to stake their claims on the stars. Without clear and universally accepted rules, the potential for conflict is real and significant. And then, 
There are ethical questions to consider. Space mining could have profound environmental implications, and we're still grappling with the environmental impact of mining here on Earth. What might the consequences be of mining an asteroid or the moon? Could we inadvertently cause damage that we don't yet understand, setting off chains of events with far-reaching consequences? Moreover, should we be focusing our resources on exploiting space when many parts of our own planet are still struggling with poverty, hunger and disease? Is it right to channel billions into space mining when that money could be used to alleviate suffering and inequality here on Earth? These are weighty questions and ones we must grapple with as we stand on the brink of this new era. As we venture into the final frontier, we must tread carefully to avoid sparking off a space-age gold rush. Even if we overcome the financial and legal challenges, there's still the matter of technology. Can we actually mine in space with our current tech? Well, let's navigate through the technological maze that is space mining. The most immediate challenge might seem simple, but it's anything but. Operating machinery in the zero-gravity environment of space is a task that would make even the most seasoned engineers break out in a cold sweat. Our earthbound machinery is designed to operate under the influence of gravity. In space, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, making controlling machinery a Herculean task. Then, there's the issue of the harsh environment of space itself. With extreme temperatures that can swing from blistering heat to icy cold in an instant, and the constant bombardment of cosmic radiation, our machinery needs to be tough. And I'm not just talking about a little bit of extra insulation here. We're talking about creating machinery that can withstand conditions that are literally out of this world. And let's not forget about the sheer distances involved. The closest asteroid belt to us, located between Mars and Jupiter, is over 200 million miles away. That's like traveling around the Earth's equator over 8,000 times. Just imagine trying to remotely control a machine from that far away. The time delay alone would make real-time operations impossible. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, extracting resources. Despite some promising theories, we currently lack proven methods for doing so. Processing ore in space is vastly different than doing it on Earth. We don't know how to efficiently separate valuable minerals from space rock or how to transport those resources back to Earth safely and economically. The path to space mining is fraught with challenges, but the rewards could be out of this world. Technological advances have always driven human progress and space mining could be the next frontier. It's a daunting task, but if history has taught us anything, it's that when humans set their sights on something, they usually find a way to achieve it. Given these daunting challenges, one might ask, is space mining worth it? Well, let's delve into this a bit more. Space mining, despite its significant financial, legal and technological hurdles, holds potential rewards that are nothing short of extraordinary. Imagine for a moment a future where scarcity of resources is a thing of the past. A future where precious metals, rare minerals and even water are available in abundance. This is the tantalizing promise that space mining holds. Our Earth, as bountiful as it is, has its limitations. We're depleting our resources at an alarming rate and the need for sustainable alternatives is more pressing than ever. Space mining could be the answer to this looming crisis. Asteroids, moons and even other planets are teeming with resources. We're talking about iron, nickel, gold and even platinum, not to mention the possibility of helium-3, a potential clean energy source. And let's not forget about the potential for space colonization. As fantastical as it sounds, establishing human colonies on other planets is a concept that is gradually moving from the realm of science fiction to that of science fact. Mining operations in space could provide the necessary building blocks for such colonies, making the vision of humans living and working in space a reality. Now, it's easy to get carried away with these exciting prospects, but let's ground ourselves back to reality. The challenges that we discussed earlier are real and formidable. The cost, the legality, the technology, all of these factors present substantial hurdles that we must overcome. But here's the thing, every great journey starts with a single step. And every monumental achievement in human history was once thought impossible. The Wright brothers, Neil Armstrong, Elon Musk. They all dared to dream, to push boundaries, to venture into the unknown. Space mining may seem like a distant dream, but its potential rewards make it a venture worth pursuing. The future of space mining is uncertain, but one thing is clear, it's a journey that's just beginning.